Hey everyone and welcome to another MMAT YouTube video. On today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the Merlin Papoose. Those of you who haven't been to my channel, if you are watching this video somewhere else other than YouTube, you can go to youtube.com slash MMATT. So as you can see it comes in this nice little uh, carrying case and it's velcroed in place here. So you just take the uh, velcro straps off and there you have pretty much the entire firearm except for the barrel so the stock, the action, uh, trigger, all that good stuff so the barrel is found in this pouch here in the center so that comes out and as you can see on the bottom here there's a flat section and if you line that up with the flat section on the receiver barrel slides right in and then you just simply tighten this nut right here now, for just a couple of shots, finger tight is all you need, but it will work itself loose. So if you are going to use this for an extended period of time, it does come with this nifty little wrench here, which just goes into that hole there. And then it allows you the extra leverage you need to really tighten that down. As you can see, there isn't a, uh, the stock does stop here, and that's so that you can fit it into the case. So you do kind of have a modified hold on this, as I'll show you here in the shooting clip in just a second. The barrel is 16 and a quarter inches long and it is not tapered at all it is straight all the way down and it's quite a bit thinner than the normal profile on the Marlin 795 which this firearm is based very heavily on in fact the action is exactly the same as you can see I carry in my case uh, the two seven round magazines that comes with the firearm as well as an additional 50 rounds of ammunition and I usually keep this Pro Mag uh, 25 round magazine in here with the case too just so that I have all that extra ammo and it fits in really nicely so you never have to worry about running out of ammo unless of course the zombie apocalypse hits and then uh, well then you're in trouble no matter what as you can see it does have a 22 groove for scopes um, and it, uh, it I guess you know you can put a scope on there I, I don't quite see the purpose of it if you're going to be taking the barrel on and off because you're going to lose your zero every single time you take your barrel off and put it back on there's an alternate way of uh, putting it in the case there with the scope on that way it fits and as you can see the scope does have to be quite short so it does fit I don't carry it with the scope on the scopes kinda neat but um, again the whole idea behind this rifle is to be lightweight and portable I don't think it's any good for hunting or for surviving. I think uh, the open sights are probably your best bet there. That being said, I'm not always right, so if you want to put a scope on it, knock yourself out. As with its bigger brothers, the Marlin 795 and Marlin 60 and other assorted Marlin rimfires, you can see that these barrels also have the micro groove rifling, which means you can expect some pretty good accuracy out of them. As you can see in this uh, shooting clip here, all of my shots are definitely minute of pop can at uh, 15 or so yards. That's hardly a good demonstration of this rifle's accuracy. So I took it to the range and uh, as you can see here, I've got a group um, and even if you do count these two that kind of don't go with the rest of it, it's still just under an inch. Um, inside here it's it's really close to half an inch um, and this is with open sights at 25 yards so the rifle definitely has the accuracy potential there I think with the scope it would definitely be even more accurate but uh, again that's not exactly the uh, purpose of this rifle it's not a precision rifle from a bench it's this is a, a survival rifle well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you're looking for a lightweight accurate, reliable takedown rifle for camping, hiking, canoeing, what have you, um, I highly recommend the Marlin Papoose. It's, uh, it's a great little rig. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time.